I feel weird that I did that, but you asked for it. <sighs> Should I eat it? Hi, I'm Emma Chamberlain, and we're gonna be playing Pop Quiz. Let's see, let's start here. That was so loud. What is the best gift you've received? The real gift is other people's presence in your life. But if I had to choose a material gift, I would say a vintage Napoleon Dynamite zip up sweatshirt. It's just, you just can't buy that stuff anymore. It's such a thoughtful gift. So probably that. <sighs> Last text you sent. It was probably to one of my parents and it was probably just me being like, how are you? Like I text my parents, how are you? 10 times a day. They're like, good. The same, the s I'm still good. I was good an hour ago, I'm still good. I love my parents and I, and I check up on them every hour. Okay, I lost the pin. Here you go. Ha. Word your friends would use to describe you. You know what? Random. I don't know, I feel like I'm just random. My friend's actually back there. Jared, would you agree that I'm random? Okay, random. Last song you got stuck in your head. Ooh, this is like super vulnerable. I don't know the answer, I can't remember yet, but whatever the answer is, just know that this is vulnerable. Last song, probably Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. That shit is good. Word that makes you cringe. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, don't say moist. Like moist for me is actually like appetizing. Cause when somebody says moist, I think of like a moist banana bread or like a moist dessert. So that one doesn't bother me. Oh, the word cluster does make me nauseous. Like for some reason I can handle it. I mean, I just said it, but it definitely isn't. I don't prefer it. Last book you read, ooh, this is embarrassing. It's been a long time. <laughs> I was going through a big reading phase for probably a year and then I just stopped. I've been trying to read Crime and Punishment for literally over a year and I'll read a chapter and be like, this is not for me right now. And then I retire it for a few months and then I try to read another chapter. I will finish it one day. So we'll, we'll say it's the last book I read, but you know, I, didn't, I haven't finished it yet. I'll get back to you in like 2030 when I finish it and I'll totally let you know what I think. Favorite dance move, show us. So silly, you guys. Wow. What is my favorite dance move? Like that, like, but just like head down. You know what I mean? I hate that you guys made me do that. Don't ever make me do that again. <laughs> How did you make your first dollar? Ugh. I know. I used to collect these tiny little erasers, but they weren't like any eraser. They were little erasers shaped like average objects. You know, there was a little dog eraser, a little pig shaped eraser, a little car eraser, and they were incredible. I mean, they were really cool. Like you could take them apart, and put them back together like they were full little sculptures, but they were erasers. But I got word somehow that these erasers were selling for big bucks. So probably around third grade, I started selling off my collection uh, to kids at school and they would bring money and I would sell my little erasers that my mom bought me, right? So like my mom invested in me as an entrepreneur and bought me these erasers. I then went to school and sold them, pocketed the cash, didn't tell mom, first dollar. What should every woman try at least once in her life? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Probably Cool Ranch Doritos, at least once. They are so, like, when I think about what's like a once in a lifetime experience, I don't know, like if you haven't tried Cool Ranch Doritos, go out and try it, but I'll tell you that's universal. That's not just, that's for everybody. I don't know what should, 
I'm going to try to give a serious answer, although not that that's not serious because that actually is true. Like if you've never tried them, you should right now. I don't know. That's that's too hard. That's, can I come back to it? Guilty pleasure watch on TV or streamer. I have <laughs> I have kind of a bad habit where I like to rewatch my two favorite movies, Napoleon Dynamite and Coraline. And it's at a point now where it's like, I've seen them so many times, it's not cute anymore. It's not like, oh, that's your favorite movie, you're watching it again. It's like, Emma, you have to watch something else. Like, you have to watch something else. It's unhealthy now. It's also like, I haven't even seen that many other movies. I'm not super into movies. I'm into my two movies that I like, and I just keep rewatching them and I don't explore new things, which is not good. So Napoleon Dynamite and Coraline. Best movies on the planet. Do you have any secret talents? Show us. <sighs> to be honest, I am pretty boring. I mean, I used to be a cheerleader, so I can kind of lift my leg up and I'll try it for you, but let's see if the flexibility is still there. It definitely isn't, but like, you know, I can, I can lift a leg up. Oh, I'm hitting the mic. Like, is that impressive? I mean, I'm kind of, like I'm no more flexible than like your friend that goes to yoga at this point. I've lost all flexibility. I used to be very flexible though. I feel weird that I did that, but you asked for it. Go to late night snack. I do love something salty and crunchy at night. Like I love a flavored pistachio, like a salt and vinegar pistachio chili lime pistachio, like a yummy cracker. Oh, Mary's Gone Crackers, best crackers, they're so good. Sometimes randomly like a popsicle. It just, it's like, ooh, wait, that actually sounds great. And like watching TV with a little popsicle. But I think my dream late night snack, if I always had it in stock at home, would be a white cheddar cheese it That's like, that would hit the spot. But you would have to brush again, because that will ruin, that will ruin everything that you had going on here. What makes you feel most powerful and confident? I think it's a combination of feeling like I'm providing value in some way to other people while still taking care of myself. When I have that balance, it is magical what can happen. It's not an easy balance to strike, but it is worth the eternal challenge. What advice would you give to your younger self? To be patient with the process of growing into yourself. You know, my younger self was a young kid. Like I, I'm just now arriving to a point where I'm an adult and I'm kind of solidifying who I am as a person. But prior to literally right now, I was a child and there's so many growing pains when you're growing into yourself as an adult. And I think I tried to force the process, like force moving things forward. And it was so uncomfortable and it was so unnatural. And the reason why I did that was because I didn't trust the natural process. And I think I could have just gone with the flow a little bit more and trusted the fact that things will come together. I guess I would just tell my younger self, not to rush growing up, not to feel any pressure to have things figured out. It all takes patience and I had none of it and it was uncomfortable. What is the number one thing on your bucket list? I'm not one of those people who need to go skydiving. I don't wanna go skydiving. I don't wanna climb Mount Everest. Those types of things don't excite me. I think number one thing on my bucket list, like, I don't know, maybe have a kid? Kind of boring. <laughs> like, it, I really do think it'd be cute to have a little, but like, maybe I won't even want that. Like, I don't know. I'll regret that bucket list item when my kid is like two and is like throwing up in my car. Last one. This better be so juicy. This better be the juiciest one. I'm 
should I eat it? <laughs> I just thought about eating it. I was like, that would totally be funny, but I won't do it. Most starstruck moment was probably towards the beginning of my career when I first started meeting the YouTubers that I watch or watched at the time. Like I got to meet Cody Ko and Rhett and Link too. I grew up watching YouTube. My superstars were YouTubers. And that was honestly the most starstruck I ever felt because I think from that point forward, I was like, wait, oh, everybody's pretty normal. I don't really get starstruck. Maybe that moment is yet to come. If I met Napoleon Dynamite, yes, I would be starstruck. Waiting for that day to come. That was Pop Quiz with Marie Claire. Thanks for watching.